my baby pop pie, I'm my baby pop pie, my baby pop pie. I don't think we ever get <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Hey, welcome back to the Drunken Jesters podcast. I'm your host, Sean Blakely. And I'm... <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? I'm, I'm your other host, Angel Campion. Welcome back. Today we're having margarita. The drink of. I don't know. Go ahead. No, no, finish that sentence. No, I wasn't going to say that. No, I wasn't no, even no. going to say that. No, drink of what? I don't even want to drink it now after what you said. <laughs> that shit's good, though. Is it? Yeah. You're welcome. That's how margarita should be. I don't like. Uh, a lot of like restaurants and stuff. It's like uh, sugar water with tequila in it. That I mean, that's good too. That should, but that should just taste like a dessert rather than a drink. If you say so. You you have no soul. I'm <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't like music. You don't like you don't like smoothie smoothie margaritas, man. It's just I don't like. <laughs> You're right. I don't <laughs> like Disney. Yeah, you see. I don't like things that are too happy. It's suspicious. <laughs> that's why I try not to smile around you. Just a, yeah, it's a resting bitch face. Yeah, when you smile around me, I hit you out of nowhere until your <laughs> bird was flying or something. Uh, I was actually going to ask you more about, like, so it's just, like, no music? You just, like, you don't care about it? No, I mean, I, I just, I have a very particular taste in music. I only like certain songs from certain artists. Mm. Which okay. makes me sound like a douchebag when I explain it like that. I don't know. I just, I, I, and I don't really care for mm. it in general. I, I turn it on in the car so I have something going on, but I don't really. So, yeah, I, well, I mean, I, I get, yeah, because I never just listen. I don't know how people do that where they just like sit in a room and listen to music. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Bunch of losers. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Should we get into the comedy thing then? Buyers? We don't buyers first, talking about that, and then, yeah. uh, we probably shouldn't mention where it was at. Uh, it's, I mean, it's good. Whatever. Yeah, come come to our buyer shows, guys. <laughs> it's, it's exciting. <laughs> no, there was a. So me and Sean did a show. Fuck y'all. It, no, <laughs> no, no, that show. I don't know how to do this. Go ahead. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> do you just? Because at first I was gonna talk to like them, but I, but no. We should yeah. probably be facing like yeah. kind of towards them like that, but um. Yeah. No, uh, so we had this show at a place called Byers, and the um, show was at 8, 8 o'clock rolled around, nobody was there, so we started wandering the streets with flyers, handing them out to people. Started to hawking like crazy. Yeah, telling them to come to our show, because that's what comedy is, folks. Man, I'm telling you, bro, there's nothing, that was painful as shit, when they were like, when like, you would try to give a, hand, a flyer to someone, and they like try to ignore that you exist. Honestly, like... I've done it to people so many times that I was just like, I get it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, me too. But now, I, now I would never do that again. <laughs> now that I've been on the other side, I mean, they didn't waste my time, you know. That's true, because some of them would tell us they're coming, take yeah. the flyer, and then disappear. Yeah. So, That's true. you know, I get it. I get it. No, nah, man, but the, but uh, what's it called? We ended up. We ended up actually. So it's, it started around nine. We ended up actually getting a good, good uh, number crowd. It was around like twelve people, right? Yeah, maybe around that. So, so our hawking actually worked, and then the show started. It was going. It was going okay. Sean did great, actually. <laughs> I did all right. Fuck yeah. you. I was hosting. <laughs> no, and the, 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 that, and then it was going. And one of the comics went up. He was doing his set. He was like in the, only like five minutes in when uh one of the guys that we that we like gave a flyer to told him to come. He hopped on the stage, started banging on the window. He's like, "Come save your boy! Come save your boy!" Because me and Sean were outside. Yep. And then and then he, apparently this man also tried to take the mic from that comic to t- and try to tell him to get off stage until um our headliner told uh told the cracker to get off. Yeah, that wasn't our headliner, but he should have been. Oh, you're right. He yeah. wasn't that night. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, that was definitely interesting. I mean, the whole show he was being rowdy and heckling and kind of causing a problem. Yeah, I mean, I, I I I tried to do crowd work with him, and he just fucking it wasn't. Yeah, it didn't work at all. No, yeah, yeah. No yeah, well, shit. That was a rough show. It is. That's that's how it goes sometimes, you know. 
Should we go into the more rougher show then? Yeah, you think <laughs> that one was worse? It, it was. For us, for it was. Yeah, for us. Yeah, no, we, so we did a show yesterday at um, Mugs Don't. and Manor. <laughs> what are they going to do? They're going to, like, go out? It's not their fault. I don't know. I don't want to, because then they're going to see, like, a flyer for Mugs and Manor, and they're going to be like, oh, this fucking this show's ass. No, no, the show, show's great, guys. All right? It's usually great. This time it was bad, It'd be though. great if we had a crowd, and honestly, yeah, most of the time we've been there, it's been decent. So Yeah, it was just this one time, there was only, like, six people there, and then... Uh, Xavier was was doing was hosting, and he did his his set. And while in the middle of his set, I found out there was like a grandma with the kids and shit. So I went up there. I tried to do crowd work. I tried to do my set. Nothing was fucking hitting hard. It's shit. It was. It, it, I just. It was silence. Absolute silence. All I heard was Xavier laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> the problem was that like. Uh this family, yeah, it was uh, a grandma, a grandpa, a mother, and her child. And um, they came for line dancing, but they had the date wrong. <laughs> and so they just got surprise comedy, and there's this 12-year-old girl, and we're yelling, like, dick jokes, and <laughs> Xavier's talking about a pregnant girl getting hit by a bus. <laughs> 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 no, dude, and also, like, it's not even... Like, you like, you it was it wasn't even just that but like even everybody else like in that room like i just it, no no we couldn't get no reaction out of them at all well who else was in that room besides the people well, i mean like we the had four the people, people at yeah. the bar but oh the bar didn't give a fuck about us I, like during our, during our sets i would hear them talking like ah not funny and then they'd keep talking <laughs> well those were uh that was those two drunk guys i was telling you about that didn't believe you were blind oh the hillbilly dude yeah oh shit uh, die hard republicans oh shit they, uh, yeah, the Fuck, whole time. I'm trying to make them my fan base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the whole time during people's set, when they were actually inside watching, they're like, oh, I could do it better than this. Yeah, I, the whole this fucking time. Sucks. Bro, that pissed me off. Okay. <laughs> Drunk, that's I thought I was the only one that noticed them. <laughs> you think, uh, you would think, like, outside looking in that you kind of want drunk people at your show. Like, that's a good audience member. And that's what I thought before I started comedy. Yeah. Because drinking and comedy kind of goes... You drink at comedy shows, they make money off drinks, you know? Yeah, and, and if you have happy drunks, then it's a whole different story. But, like, most of the time, you get, like, aggressive fuckers who think they could do better. That's the problem. If they're too drunk, they think they're funny. And they think they're funnier than you. And it's like... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, I fucking hate that shit. Um, that, was, that was a rough show, though. I, I haven't bombed that hard in a minute, and that hurt. Yeah. It was something else. That's for sure. Yeah. It's always it's always terrible when Xavier's cracking up and nobody else is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just know he's in, you just know he's the only one enjoying it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's rough, man. Do we, do we want to talk about my Reggie's incident? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I'll set the timer. Continue talking. <laughs> yeah, cuz we didn't set the timer. I, I'm not going to talk while you do that. We'll edit this out. I, it's all hard to talk. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. We're not editing this out. <laughs> it's hard to edit, bro. So, uh, we could probably talk to Kyle Eddie about that. I wonder if he, how much he'd charge to edit our shows. All right. Let's not do the business thing now. <laughs> No, I... Yeah, you know, okay. you're, you're right. Go ahead. I was just saying, like, a passing comment. Yeah, you're right. We could try that. Fuck me, I guess. Yeah, fuck you. Um, so I was at this uh, open mic in the city, and uh, this girl, two comics before me, came up and uh, just kind of talked about how she got raped in a different comedy scene and then shunned from there and, like, really set a tone. Mm-hmm. Which, like, whatever. But then, like, when she said it, <laughs> yeah. because she talked about it and, like, there's so much tension, like, people laughed. Yeah. More, like, in shock value, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then there were these two girls that were just talking the whole time at the bar that that same comic, like, addressed and kind of picked on them, and then they just went back to talking. And so I came up, and I was like, what the fuck's going on in this room, you know? This girl just talked about getting raped, and... You all laughed at her, <laughs> and then uh, you got 
two hecklers at the bar that were just talking the whole time while she's going on about this. And I was like, this is why feminism isn't working. This is, you guys can't support each other. <laughs> and, and the crowd loved that. And then I got into my material and I was doing all right. And then Xavier heckled me. I don't even know what he said. But I started tearing into him. And then uh, that girl that said she got raped, she went up and she yelled, uh, why don't you try actually being funny or try actually telling a joke? Something like that. Did she say to you or Xavier? To me. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then I felt bad because I just talked about... I kind of... But I didn't say, like... I wasn't making fun yeah, you, of her. There, there wasn't no way you were, like, mean, mean I, at her. It was... Yeah, I just addressed it. But I still yeah. felt bad. Because you, you, you have to address it if you're following that. I mean, it was two comics, and I could have just ignored it and probably moved on. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... I, I felt bad about it. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's also a rough position to be in. You gotta... No, you shouldn't feel bad about it. I think you did great. <laughs> that's why... I don't know. Like, I was telling Xavier, I'm not necessarily sorry I did it, but I do feel bad if she got offended by that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And I hope she didn't. I talked to her after the show, and I was like, hey, I, I didn't mean any disrespect or any whatever. And she was very upset, so not super upset. That's your talent, making women upset. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get canceled now. Now it's on the podcast. Yeah, thank God. This is, this is, <laughs> this is just my whole goal today. No. <laughs> I guess they want me back. That's the main reason. I wasn't sure about coming tonight, but Xavier was like, hey, where, are you coming to Reggie's or what? Yeah, that's like, good, but you might, if, they keep, like, if you keep doing good and shit, they might book you off of that. I don't know if they are producers and shit, but it's Chicago. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how connected they are with anything but i mean the guy who runs the open mic at riddles was there so maybe he'll keep being there i don't know i thought he was good yeah because that's what happened too is like i tried doing my material after everything and i got the biggest laughs just from ripping ripping into xavier and like riffing and all that so i was kind of just like fuck it i'm done that's it yeah. And then the host was like, no. I was like, what do you mean, no? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm done. This no. is an open mic. <laughs> and he's like, tell a joke. And we just kind of were going back and forth. And I just kept going like, what the fuck is up with this room? <laughs> I've never been forced to stay on stage before. <laughs> and then finally, he's like, all right, all right. You're done. You're done. Go ahead. And I hung up the mic and I start walking back to my seat. And then everyone's calling my name. And I'm like, what? And they're like, get back up there. I'm like, what do you mean? Get back Holy up there! Holy shit! You got? Th- Did you go back up there? Yeah. Okay. And nice. I, Holy fuck! I told two one-liners that n- always bomb. I know these one-liners. Yeah, yeah. Why I, would you do that? Why not go into the material you know is good? <laughs> because, kind of like as a, a confidence thing, like fuck you. I said it too. I was like, all right, I'm gonna do these two one-liners. They always bomb. And then I did the one-liner, and the host came up. He's like, you did your joke. You can go now. And I was like, no, fuck you. You made me come back up here. I'm doing my <laughs> other one-liner. And I did it. And I don't. people were laughing, but just because of, like, how weird the situation yeah. was. And then I yeah. got off stage. That last one I do kind of works sometimes, but it's still, like, a dumb joke. Yeah. So. yeah that's, that's crazy as fuck, though. They called you back on stage. at Because Reggie's is a bar, right? Yeah, they have a separate room where they do comedy in. Oh, okay. And they have a bar off to the side. But, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just lick the lemon. That was on accident. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, that shit. What's the worst heckler you've ever had? <laughs> Xavier. I haven't, yeah. I don't know. Probably, honestly, that girl just because I... I genuinely was like, oh, I might have said something that really upset her. And I felt bad about it. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, give up on that feeling shit, bro. <laughs> no, I don't think. Me and Xavier were talking about it with another comic. Because another comic had, like, your mindset. Like, fuck them. You were making a joke. It doesn't matter. But 
Because uh, it, it wasn't disrespectful in any way. That's no. That's what annoys me. But she is a victim of something that's, like, that's really true. awful. Yeah. So if she got offended by what I said, she has a right to be offended. And I, I shouldn't just be okay with the fact that I upset her. No, you should not. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I agree. I'm agreeing. <laughs> I see your face. I'm agreeing completely. <laughs> this is my know. innocence. <laughs> I'm playing. No, I'm playing. Uh, uh, I don't know. That, that is a weird spot. It was a... That whole room was weird, and I guess that whole night was weird. Someone came up to me, and they're like, this has been a weird night, right? And I was like, this is my first time here. <laughs> I'm like, tell me it's not always like that. And he's like, no, this is... It was just weird. Yeah, man. Because you had those two people talking at the bar the whole time. Which yeah. Which kind of made the whole thing hard for everybody else. And then uh, I had that whole fiasco. And then after that, like, nobody did well. I washed the room, dude. I don't know if that's what it was. but <laughs> You cocky son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> as long as Xavier bombed, I'm okay with it. Because I don't know how he did. No, but I mean, I mean, no, you you had to do really good for them to like be calling your name to get back on stage and shit. That's the thing. And Xavier said I bombed, and in a way I did, because I was kind of like, I wasn't doing my material. Thing. I couldn't think of my material, even though I had the crowd laughing through my riffing, and we're kind of just fucking around, like uh, from see. from like a comedy standpoint, because I couldn't get into my material because I was in my head and kind of doubting myself i wasn't performing right but the audience was laughing because of the situation uh, i get it okay so yeah that makes sense yeah it's weird when you like when you think you did terrible and then other people tell you like you're like it did great it's like no i didn't yeah like i, fe- like, I-, I was on stage i felt it <laughs> yeah, this is this is always rough yeah I had that happen to me, I think the first time, I my first set at the Comedy Vault, I uh, I was just real nervous the whole time, kind of in my head, and I fumbled a couple jokes, and then I got off stage, and everyone was like, holy crap, I've never seen you do so well, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Like, a lot of people yeah. said that was my best set ever. This was when I was pretty new, and I was like, wow, do I suck that bad? <laughs> hey, I actually chuckled this time. That was good. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck you. No, it it was a good set. Like, people were genuinely yeah. laughing, asshole. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure these people genuinely laugh at you. Yeah. No, <laughs> no I'm not sure. What was, like, the first set you had where you actually, like, felt like you killed hard? Uh, it was Mojo's, one of the ones I did at Mojo's, because I'd been, it was kind of like I finally, it was one of the first times I had material that I felt like was doing okay. Yeah. Like I felt I was working good. Yeah. And then, uh, so I kept doing the same five minutes every mic I'd hit. And so by the the end of when I was about to retire it, I did it at Mojo's. I'd already done this like five times, same set. Yeah. And murdered. I mean, I felt like I did, at least. I yeah, felt like yeah, I, I did really good, and uh, that would be the first time. Yeah. It's, yeah. And always, it, it, every time, you, like, when you kill hard, you're like, oh, I didn't really kill that one time. This is when I, this is what right. really killing feels. Every time you yeah. hit a different, like, tier of killing, you, like, you feel it. That's why some of these bad comics feel like they're doing so good, is because... Uh, some of them are also just delusional as shit. Yeah, that too. Yeah, they're like, like, I did fucking great. Like, bro, there was silence. People left. <laughs> or they were laughing at you. Yeah, oh, that's the worst. Cause then yeah. they fucking think they're doing great. I hate that shit. What uh? When was your first set? That you felt like when I killed really hard. I would say it was like it was right before I did the NIU shows. It was in October at the Shrine. It was an open mic. I remember it's when I like I had like the first five minutes that I like really liked, and it was kind of newer jokes. I remember it was like I was like number twenty. So I'm like ah, oh, I'm number twenty. Is and it's like kind of a bad spot already because everybody's leaving and shit yeah so i was kind of feeling bad about it but then i I came on stage i fucking like i killed hard as shit because people started walking back into the room like well because they were laughing so hard inside of it and shit like i was fucking murdering wow yeah well i didn't i didn't know that at the time i i uh lisa told me afterward oh yeah and then i and then i I left uh i and then once i was done i I walked into the like little bar area that the shrine used to have yeah 
and Lisa was like, "Oh, you, you." I was like, "You murdered so you, you murdered like crazy." People who were walking back in, and then the other waitress told me I did great, and then like that, the, that whole night, people were like, "Oh, you fucking murdered, you murdered." And I like I felt it that time because like the fucking walls were like I, it was great, like the laughter was echoing and shit. Yeah, like that was the, that, that that was the first time I really killed. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's it. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> We'll get you at Mojo's again. It's always... A lot of times, I was going to say, too, because you said you were number 20, and you're kind of like, it's going to be a shitty spot. Yeah. I feel like a lot of those spots where you're like, or those nights where you're just not feeling it, and you're like, I'm going to go up there and bomb, whatever. I feel like that's a lot of times when I do my best. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Except Friday night. (laughs) (laughs) Nobody did their best Friday night. Holy shit. No, but... Well, I mean, that night, too, it was like, Cause like I went up there like, I like I, I was so hyped up for the like that whole day. Cause like Mugs usually has a decent crowd. We're gonna do fine. Yeah. I'm like I'm gonna be celebrating my one year into comedy, <laughs> and it was it, oh my god, I bombed so bad. That's a good celebration when you think about it. It like reminds you of where you started. That's <laughs> true. That's true. I I killed harder the first open mic I ever did than I did at Mugs yesterday. <laughs> I feel like everyone does decent their first time. Yeah, cause everybody's super nice the first time. Yeah, cause you say and unless you're in the city, dude. Yeah, they don't give a shit. Yeah. No, t- t- Tom, Tom, and uh, would always be like, "It's their first time," and then he would bring us up. Yeah, I don't. I said it. I was like, "This is my first time doing that." Pussy. Yeah, I wanted to clap. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted. You just wanted sympathy. Actually, I hated the claps when I started. I yeah. still don't love them. I, I, now. I, no, to this day, I hate the claps. Yeah. Anything but like laughter and groans. I don't like. Groans depend. I, I like groans. <laughs> Cause, it, cause, it, cause, you know the jokes still hit them. They just like, and like, oh. Yeah, sometimes I'll groan at like a good joke, or I'll be like, oh fuck, or Jesus Christ. Yeah. At yeah. a good joke, like something I found funny, and then a comic will hear it and start like, what? Like, you, you pussy, something like. I yeah, don't know. yeah. And that, I'm like, yeah, no, I like yeah. the joke. It's just, that, that was that, a lot. Yeah, that, that's why it gives us something to like kind of work with. So when you get the groans, because yeah. when you get the groans, you can still you could get a laughter out of them because you could build on it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I, I fucking I, I love that shit. No, but I mean, yeah, that shit. That would definitely be my favorite part about comedy in general. Not not the groans, but like the like the feeling you get when everybody's fucking like laughing and like loving you on stage and shit. Like, cause it's the work you put in and stuff. Like that. Yeah. Like, I, like that's pr- probably my favorite shit about comedy. It's definitely fun. It's the it's what you're in it for, right? Yeah. The crowd going. Yeah, when you get like the entire crowd laughing like crazy, I fucking love that shit. Yeah. I don't know what it is about Mojo's lately. Like, even a bad crowd, I still do well in. I don't know why. That's so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, you, mo- you, like, uh, other than the last time I did Mojo's, I, l- last time I did, like, 50-50. But usually when I go to Mojo's, I do great. Yeah. Last time last time was 50-50 because I split the room. And that's, I felt, <laughs> felt kind of good about that, though. <laughs> Not going to lie. Because <laughs> splitting in a room kind of doesn't feel like bomb. It, it doesn't really feel like bombing. It's just kind of like, I, I failed this side, but this side loves me. Yeah. I, you definitely didn't bomb, but yeah. I could see, I, I know where you messed I up. I saw me losing a showcase. You. <laughs> <laughs> now you're definitely not getting on. <laughs> it's okay. They got the, I love them. But no. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, and also like, it, like, cause then, cause then after that show too, I had like two people come up to me like, oh, you had a great set. I'm like, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, so I was, like, because I, I did have half the room loving me, which was nice. Sometimes I'll say that to a comic I see bomb. You're when I knew, no, when I knew their jokes asshole. were good, when I can see, like, why they lost the crowd. Uh, so I can be like, hey, your material's good, but just not with this crowd. Like, the crowd wasn't feeling it tonight or something. Yeah, that happens That happens a good amount of times at open mics. Yeah, yeah and I, I mean, whenever a comic does bad, just don't address it at all. Unless unless they're like friends, then obviously I tell them like, yeah, you bombed. Yeah. Or no, I'll, I'll tell them you did great. <laughs> Sarcastically. <laughs> but no, not even sarcastically. I want them to believe it. Get them, get rid of the competition. That's the worst thing you can do to a comic. <laughs> really, you did great. <laughs> there are a few comics. I'm not going to name names. But yeah, they'll go to a guy who just bombed on stage and be like, hey, good job tonight, dude. <laughs> you killed. I know one of the ones you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, what the fuck are you doing? You're an asshole. Yeah, he likes to curb stomp people. <laughs> 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 Fucking asshole, that guy. 
Man, I, but I mean, I you know, like, I, like if it's a comic I don't know or like just barely like getting to know, like I'll tell them, like I, I just won't tell them anything. Yeah, yeah it's, I feel like it's always better to do it that way. Right. Man, that shit. Do you remember the first time you bombed? It had to be like early on, but like yeah, like my second time doing comedy. Oh, I can't relate. But you know. No, <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, 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 go, what go do ahead. You know? <laughs> no, like, cause, cause, like, it, yeah, no, the, the bomb, bombing, like the first time I bombed, I'm like, I don't like this feeling at all. Oh, <laughs> it was, was, was fucking terrible. I don't know if it was my second time doing comedy. I can't really remember the set where, like, I remember fully bombing. Yeah, it was at the shrine for sure. I I know the one that I remember because I was kind of like. I was really confident in my material, and I was like, "Why does this sound so bad?" <laughs> That's the worst when you think you're gonna do great, because yeah. everybody else before you did great. <laughs> you ever had that where like everybody else be- before you was doing really good, and you were the o- first one to bomb at an open mic? Uh, I I know I had one mic where I, I kind of, because at the shrine I didn't really ever take oh, it seriously. Uh, continue. Go ahead. Finish your story. Um. I didn't ever take the mic seriously on Thursdays because it was always a small crowd and kind of iffy. And so it was one night that I just kind of went up there and I think I did a shotgun round, just ate a dick for five minutes. And uh, everyone else killed that night. Yeah. Amazing crowd. (laughs) And I was like, man, if I would have just done material. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the worst fucking feeling. All right, let's we'll get back to it. Oh, was that the? uh, Yeah. Mark Karski says he's down to to do it today. Yeah. Fuck it, I'll cancel my plans for this fucking. We are you are <laughs> the kind of dance that tends to get me me so wonderful. Why do you do that? What? Shut up. You don't let me sing at Carly. Shut up. Can I not sing on Carly? <laughs> No. You know, we're going to keep this on. Guys, he's not letting me sing at Carly. Is he the asshole? You got to do the clap thing. This isn't on the podcast. No, I'm going to keep it on. We can't. I'm going to do the shirtless part, huh? Do you remember what happened last time? You just jumped right into it and we couldn't get the audio to fuck. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Alexa, set a 25-minute timer. Fuck you. 25 minutes, starting now. I don't know where we were at, so... Um, we were talking about seamless transitions. Yeah, <laughs> seamless. Trans- <laughs> <laughs> oh, what it feels like to like be the first one to bomb when everybody else is great. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. that fucking hurts. It bro. does. It, it hurts so much worse. Because you know, you know, the crowd had nothing to do with it. You know, everybody else did great, so you know it was just you. It it's was all just on you. Me. Well, yeah. I I try not to blame the yeah, crowd yeah, too much. But but you could. But I'm not, not even that. I, I'm not saying like blame the crowd, but like. You could be like, oh, he bombed too, or he bombed too. So it's like, it's, you don't feel as bad. But when everybody yeah. else does great, you're like, oh, I'm just trash. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, I, I really do try to avoid blaming the crowd. But you know, like, after a set, when you're like, man, you're like, fuck that crowd. Or shit. Sometimes. Yeah. Normally, my thought process is, because no, no two crowds are going to be the same, never. I feel like. I, a joke never hits exactly the same. Not for me. Maybe better comedians. It some, always some of mine do, but you know. Not. Oh, whatever. No, they don't. <laughs> they hit last night, did they? Fuck you! Yeah. I did better than you last night. Fuck you! <laughs> you keep talking shit. You did better than I think anybody. Maybe I don't think Tavish did better. I saw that back sweat. <laughs> back sweat. It's fucking back sweat. But uh, so normally my mindset is like maybe it wasn't a great crowd, but at the end of the day, a better comedian could have done happen. better. Yeah. And so I I still need to figure out. What I need to work on. And, and like, we've seen that before. Like, we've experienced it where, like, where it could be where, like, 10 people bomb in a row and that 11th guy does something right where he hits a weird way where he gets the crowd to love him. That was me at Mojo's the other day, dude. Stop sucking your own dick. No, dude, <laughs> no I'm like, not even uh, fucking no. around. <laughs> no, yeah, you see? Like, that, that feels fucking amazing, though. Like, it when you felt- do that. Yeah, when everyone else bombs and you're yeah, the one guy that does if, good. Yeah, and that feels good, bro. That, that feels so good. That's a different feel, yeah. Timmy Blaze went up to me and said that, so don't tell me I'm sucking my own dick. <laughs> that actually happened. It wasn't a fever dream. <laughs> it wasn't a delusion. No, no, I, I did. I have had that happen to me before. Where, like Everybody else bombs me. Like, you do fucking amazing. Or will you wash the room? Oh, my God. You and your crowd work. That's why I'm starting to get into crowd work now, because I can see, like, some crowds 
when material yeah. just isn't working and then you start doing the crowd work, it kind of pulls them into the show, grabs their attention better. Yeah, I've got to. Well, you saw me when I was struggling in the beginning at like the shrine. I was just like point randomly and be like, yo, and you. You still do that. You just. Yeah, but out not, well, to... now I wave my hand. I'm like, hey, your name's from over here. Yeah, yeah, I remember that because you would point, but you wouldn't point. Yeah, at that's anybody. why. So now, so now I just wave my hand in the general direction and it works. Yeah. I'm blind for those of you that don't know. It's just. I doubt there is, but we'll see. Yeah. yeah no, they, they, they won't believe you. They'll think you're fucking. <laughs> right as I'm making eye contact with you, <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> no, nah, shit. And then um, also it's like um, yeah, no, but I, I do love crowd, crowd work. is so fun for me. I'm getting better and better at it. I had that grandma dying laughing yesterday. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Her and Xavier were the only guys <laughs> people I had laughing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, but it does feel really good. Like when you're the only one not like when I did that one Caesar's Bar show, and then yeah. <laughs> and then it looked like such a rough crowd, and I fucking oh my god, that felt good. I do feel like you kind of killed the crowd though with your Obama joke. I watched it. You didn't watch <laughs> it. No, well, no, the Obama joke didn't, because well, I kept going after that. I I did crowd work to the married people who retired. Yeah, but I still feel like it wasn't. It was a very conservative audience, and you did that kind of liberal joke, and you told the dude to shut up, and it kind of set a tone, I feel like. Well, well no, because my Obama joke is kind of like, not, no, not against Obama, but it's like a, a kind of a small criticism against him. Yeah. That's, that's the whole Obama joke. So then he tried to join in, so it made it seem worse, and then I had to address that. Yeah. But then I feel like I won the back over because I started, like, doing the, um, like, because they were retired, so I started doing th- all the people in front, not the guy on the side. The yeah. guy on the side, I definitely lost. I May- yeah, maybe I'm... You're an asshole. Hey, let right. me take my victories, please. Dude, David. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. No. It's too late. It's no, too late. no, I do can't. It. Do it. We're going to have it. to cut that out. There's I, no I, I'm not good enough to be cutting that stuff out. Bro. I will help you cut it out. We'll figure it You're out. You're worse than me at technology. We'll, <laughs> we'll talk to Kyle Eddie. If we you were supposed to. to help me with the editing, and you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just say DG. No, I haven't eaten. Dude, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, fuck it, whatever, bro. You're right, you're right. All right, we won't talk. All right, but what were you going to say? Say comic. Comic C. No, because it was just a shitty comment. We appreciate those here at my house. <laughs> <laughs> no. And, uh, um, this just actually really comfortable when you like lay back. Yeah. Cause you look comfy. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully you're still you're still on the screen, so you're good. But uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, it's, yeah. When, when you kill, when you kill, when everybody else bombs, it feels really good. Even if you're t- like a show full of your friends, because like even because I feel like if you're good enough friends with comics, even when they bomb, you can make fun of them for doing it and shit, and they don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's I enjoy seeing comics I like bomb. <laughs> you're a dick. I do because I know it's funny. I know he's funny. I yeah, know yeah, because you know they material. could kill in other places. Like you don't feel bad for them because you know they could kill. And I'm like, look at him struggle. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel a little good. Tabish, not playing. <laughs> <laughs> the back sweat. Because uh, <laughs> Tabish, Tabish is a murderer, and when he bombs and shit, yeah, brings me a joy in my heart. Those bar shows are tough, especially for it really like, is. Because it's not like we're really bringing any audience members because we don't have fans. We're brand new, right? But then uh, if it's just a bad night where nobody's in or they didn't expect to see comedy. So now that there is comedy, they're like, what the hell's going on? They're a family expecting to do line dancing. (laughs) Yeah. And got Uh, dick jokes yelled at them. They saw me do the most racist material I got against Juan. (laughs) <laughs> you didn't have to do anything. I really did it. He did it all on his own. Yeah. I, just, I just restated what he would tell me. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even do that. You're just like fuck. <laughs> yeah, you know? No, I love doing. I love fucking. I like people say I do like racist material, but literally all of my material, like the one mater- the material I got that is about racism, is against racism, but nobody accepts it. Well, because you. I've been giving you shit about it because you do a lot of jokes about Mexicans. Yeah, okay. Because 
I, I, I kept joking with you about like swapping material before. I want to do that. And then I thought about it, and I was like, no, I can't. I would write the N-word so many do times. Your just... <laughs> 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 no, this N-word was N-wording around. <laughs> no. Even you can't get away with saying the N-word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, no. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're sh- completely. <laughs> shut the fuck up. You're completely and utterly correct. I know I am. Yeah. I can't get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, oh boy, <laughs> I'm gonna do it just for the comedy value. <laughs> no, <laughs> I know, but it's gonna be so- okay. No. I won't go ahead. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. What were we talking about? What do you mean? What were we talking about? You being racist, you being a racist comic. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're talking hey, about. Hey, hey, yesterday though, someone was wild and all right, and that wasn't me. Uh, you. Uh, you remember? No, maybe you don't remember. I don't. I'm not going to say nothing. Oh, because yeah. I was outside. No, nah, it was your son. No, it was at the it was at the party. It was your oh, son. Oh, yeah. he explained that to me. It, I don't care what his explanation is. There's no explanation <laughs> for racism. <laughs> That's unacceptable, Sean. Raise him better. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm playing. He was trying to cut him off drinking is what he was doing because he was getting too drunk. And he was trying to say, like, are you okay? You need to stop. Yeah. And right. that he started talking about, yeah, and they're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it. Fuck that. All right. Uh, at least he didn't squat anybody. What about that? This guy squats human beings when he gets drunk. No, I, I don't. All right, I do that sober, too. <laughs> I don't have to be drunk I've never seen you do that sober. Get up. No, I'm not doing this. <laughs> get up, buddy. Let's get it. I wasn't trying to lead you into it. No, that's not how this is going. <laughs> I'm gonna squat. I'm gonna squat somebody at the buyer's show. At the next buyer's show. I'm actually excited as fuck for that one because it's gonna be a corn festival. Corn festival. You should be excited about that. That's your people shit. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh my god. I'm gonna bring tajin and me- and crema and the cheese. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start making elotes. And that's how we're gonna. That's we're gonna. Oh, Those that's hillbillies a- are gonna kick you out, dude. No, that's how we're gonna go hawking. We're gonna oh. be selling elotes and we're like, well, not even selling. We're, we're gonna give it to them and be like, hey, there's a free comedy show over there. We're gonna bribe these people to it, see your yes. comedy. We're beggars, Sean. <laughs> we're beggars. <laughs> are you guys beggars? Are you guys beggars? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, I got the standards. I don't know about you. Sure. <laughs> right, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. <laughs> this is just bad podcast. Material, it really right? is. It's just inside point. jokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Welcome to inside. These last five minutes are just gonna be edited out. Don't. What are you doing? Sitting down. Is that you asking for another drink? No, that's me at, trying to squat you. <laughs> it's me asking you for, for you to get up. <sighs> All right. Nah, man. Um. Shit. Where are we going with this? Uh, corn festival. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You really think that's gonna bring? I think so, cause it's like it's gonna be. A, I, I've never seen a festival that's empty. Is it happening downtown? It ha- well, where else would it be in DeKalb? In a cornfield? <laughs> they got plenty of those. I don't know. No, that's I think what I, think I, I would, imagine. I think it would be reason. downtown. I, well, I don't think they're actually just gonna be like playing with corn in the festival. <laughs> I mean, it's just what they call it because it's well, indie cow. No, not an actual cornfield, but I figured it'd be like a fairground or something. I don't know. We'll see when we're <laughs> there. Is that this month? That's August. Okay. Yeah, I was. Uh, they, they wanted me to go to that one T five show, but I think I'm pretty sure that's when we have the show. Oh. Yeah, August no, 4th. August sixth. Because I was gonna say I can't go that. Oh, it's August sixth. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, maybe I will buy a ticket then. All right. Well, all right, bad pocket podcasting. Continue. <laughs> um, but yeah, on to the podcasting. Nah, man. And then there's um, who are like your like, what what's your biggest pet peeve when it comes to other comics? That you know, I should be able. You go first. I'll think about it. Mine is when they're. <laughs> <laughs> no, mine is when they when it's like um uh I gotta be careful about this. No, nah, fuck it. Mine is like when they like when they're just self delusional. They're just fucking delusional as shit. 
Are we talking about like stage presence wise or just in general? What's your worst thing about? Oh comedian? no, you're right. We should talk like when they're on stage, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. What pisses me off the most? Um, shit, that's actually hard to c- come up with. Like, what pisses me off the most while they're on stage? So many things bother me. Oh, <laughs> when they when they fucking deal with a heckler wrong, that annoys the shit out of me. Because then you just you burn the room. Oh, that nothing else pisses me off more. Because I because then I'm thinking the whole time while they're like because. So th- there's been times, right, where um, a comedian will go on before me. Yeah. There's these drunk guys heckling them. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. And instead of dealing with it right, they just started yelling at the fucking hecklers and like going like, oh, no, it's my turn to talk. You shut up, blah, blah, blah. Then there's a walk in the room. There goes like five motherfuckers in a room yeah. where there was only like six to begin with. Yeah. So then I go up there and I have nobody now, which pisses me the fuck off because the whole time I'm thinking in my head, like how I would have dealt with it, like I would have made the hecklers laugh. I would have got them on my side, and I would have kept going. Because like that, like it's there's almost it's almost really hard. Like it, it's almost like it's really easy to get a heckler like to like stop and like be on your side a lot of the times. Sometimes you can't at all. Sometimes there's a lot of times where you can, but like most of the time you can. And if you don't even try it, it pisses me off. I think uh, I'm more forgiving with that because. I think it's really hard to deal with hecklers, and so uh, I've never had to really deal with anything that bad. Uh, the situation you're talking about, a little bit, but not really. Um, so I can't really... I don't know what I would necessarily do in that situation, so I can't really say anything. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It pisses me off when people walk the room because of of they didn't know how to deal with hecklers. Yeah. yeah that, shit, that shit annoys the shit out of me. What's your most? What's the most annoying thing you got for people for comics that they, what they do on stage? Um, I don't know if it's the most annoying thing. It's probably not, but just something I really hate is like weed jokes, jokes about marijuana. Yeah, I've seen one comic since I've started comedy. I've seen one comic that did a joke about weed that I was like, okay, that's funny. That's an interesting point. But most of it, it's like, oh man, you ever get so high you eat the whole fridge? <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> Like just shut the fuck up, dude. And then you get the dumb stoners laughing at you. It's so fucking it's, irritating. Yeah, it's, it's not, hacky. It's not fucking funny. It's boring. Yeah, it's not original. Yeah. Xavier eats out his fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Bad <laughs> podcasting material, know, Adriel. Well, they know. The ones listening know. <laughs> yeah, the five. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if they're still listening at this point. Oh. <laughs> No, but that's it. No, but yeah, that that is fucking. That is an annoying thing. It's when someone does like hacking material, especially about weed and shit, because there's so many jokes out there. It's hard. I feel like there's something. There's something that happened the other day that I was like, that's fucking annoying to do on stage. But Ooh, I, can't I know. Think of it. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> uh. But uh, you ever? So. Am I an asshole, or do you do this too? Where like, since you've started comedy, if you see like a really dumb, if someone tells a really dumb joke, or like you see a really dumb joke on the internet, do you get like upset? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it pisses me the fuck off. Or when someone laughs at a really stupid joke, I'll get upset. That's the most annoying. When like, when someone laughs at a terrible joke, because I'm like, he didn't put no work in. Now you're making him think that's a good joke. Now he's gonna keep doing it over and over, and I have to see this guy at open mics. Well, even, like, internet jokes and memes. Like, someone will repeat a meme to me and laugh about it, and I'm like, that's what I put all this work in for? for yeah, laugh for about fucking laugh dumb fucking meme. joke? Yeah, it's like, fucking annoying. Yeah, no, it is annoying. Like, don't get me wrong. There's obviously, like, hilarious-ass TikToks and shit. No, yeah, I'm not saying memes are bad or anything. There's But, yeah, but, like, the bad ones are, like, yeah, it's fucking annoying. Yeah. yeah no, especially in, when you see, like, a... When you see, like, a bad comic... A really bad comic and like a lineup full of really good comics. Like, does that ever annoy you? <laughs> sure does. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna get a gift. <laughs> no, no, but, but no, but not not even just that. But like, I'm serious. Like, where you see like you see like um, okay, Cam Flores, Luca Ferro, right? Um, don't name names. Don't well, no, these are all great guys. Yeah, right? Cam Flores, Luca Ferro. Yeah, no, the comic. Yeah. No. Like Luca Ferro, like uh, Timmy Blaze, uh, like all these great comics in one lineup, and then like oh, and then comic blah blah blah, like that, that like 
like why did he get the spot? Like he was fucking he's so bad. I don't think I've ever seen that. Really? And normally in my head I'm just kind of like, well he must have done something to get that. Unless like very few people, but I don't think I've ever cuz I I've seen it I've seen it well, not not with those guys specifically, but like it, it could even be like newer guys who like AJ like AJ then there's a I, we okay. get what you're trying yeah, to like, say. Yeah, like, where there's, like, a you bunch of good comics, to. and then just this one, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, what yeah. the fuck? Like, I don't get why they would... Like, I like I don't get how bad comics get on good shows. Because I've seen... Like, I've seen it happen, like, more than once. I don't know. I've never really seen that. Normally, I just kind of figure they must have done something right. I'm going to have to ask you about that after the podcast, what you're talking about. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, but there has been yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue. Do you ever uh are there any like people that are like kind of big, like TikTok guys or media influencers or people that are real big that just suck that you're really upset about? There are, but I don't want to like cuz obviously they're doing something right where like they have an audience that loves them. There's a guy I want to name. Even Can if, I Go ahead. Trevor Wallace. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, he's from Naperville, right? He acts like he is. I don't know if he is, but he, he acts he is, like yeah. it. Yeah, so he, yeah, I know who you're talking about. I never really paid too much attention to him, but yeah. He's not a comedian. Like, he does comedy now, but... Yeah, like, I saw him on the podcast in Tiger Belly. On what? Tiger Belly. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he, he is from Naperville. Yeah, I feel like he just paid for so many Facebook ads, so so many people kept seeing it, that eventually it was like, oh, like... It's a good strategy. I don't know. I, <laughs> I fucking, I hate him. I'm, I'm Why? Because it's stupid. His humor's stupid. Yeah, but I mean, there's a, there's like, there's comics who like, who like sell out stadiums, and I'm like, they're terrible. But I'm like, oh well, these people love them, so obviously they're doing something right. They're different. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> this is I'm like, dying on this hill. Cause yeah, like, yeah, this yeah. one guy. It's hey. a bad hill to die on, bro. Because like, there's there, like. No. Doesn't matter how funny you are as a p- as a person, you're never gonna get everybody. Cause this is because me and you have different senses of humor and shit. So it's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to die on this hill? This is a terrible hill to die on. Hear me out. Be- Hear me out. Okay, go ahead. So this is a big problem I have with the music industry. I feel like what happens is the guy gets the right connections, and they go, "Okay, we're gonna pay this radio show to keep putting your song on the radio." It's catchy. People listen to it. They get their one fucking hit. Their stupid, shitty fucking Drake song. And <laughs> You're a hater. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm mad. Yeah, I know. I'm Go mad. Ahead. I'm going into it. They Go get their, their shit fucking stupid song on. Their mumble rap garbage on this fucking radio. And people listen to it so much that it catches on. And so that's why the music... That's why music sucks. That's why the music industry is garbage. And that's Trevor Wallace. <laughs> he's the comedy version of the fucking music industry. But I mean, he's a stupid frat boy, <laughs> fucking bitch. This Naperville bitch. Trevor, even, if you're listening, I would love to do a show with you. Fuck this guy. I no, would love to do this. a show. Op- give me an fuck opening this. spot. I would love. I love your comedy, actually. You know, <laughs> he's a stupid like. He does this garbage co- college. Fucking I hope you meet humor. him one. Day. I hope I do too. <laughs> and fucking, it's just trash. He just. He's a douchebag. That's his whole fucking thing, and that's how he's got no talent. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know what you. But I, he sells out arenas, right? Well, not arenas, but like theaters. I don't know what he clubs. sells out. Yeah, because he put his shit on Facebook so much that other dumb fucking frat boys like to see it. See, but see, that's the, that's why he has an audience that wants to see him. Whatever, dude. You got to market. The, Fuck you. you. <laughs> he's killing comedy, dude. I'm telling you. You're nobody. No one can kill comedy. They're killing comedy. You can't kill comedy. Good people, good talent is good talent. Good talent is good. Because like, like let's That's say it's not good talent. Because like, okay, <laughs> Gabriel Iglesias is hilarious, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's still people that don't like his humor. Yes, but there's gonna be people like like who look how you look at Trevor Wallace. No, but even objectively, as a comedian, I can look at a Gabriel Iglesias and see why his jokes are good. Maybe like, I just have to watch some of Trevor Wallace to hate him as much as you do. Dude, I'm going to have you watch him all week and then next week we're going to go <laughs> and we're going to just trash talk him. Yeah, I don't know because I've never been, because like, I, I under, like there are comics I I think are like terrible even though they're like famous and shit, but like we but like I never feel like I have a like a, like a stand on it just because like 
they ha- they obviously have a mark. You can't hit every not every you can't make everybody think you're funny. No, you're right. And I there are comics that I don't like that are famous, and I'm like, he's got his thing, he's got his niche things. People like it. Good yeah. for them. Carrot top. I'm just gonna say it. I'm name dropping everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, I hope we blow up one day and this comes up. I hate Carrot Top. I hate Trevor Wallace. I'm no, I'm not no, saying no, I'm, I hate Carrot yeah, Top. No, no, I'm no, saying I, I, I don't yeah. objectively find him funny. I could see why people like him. Yeah. And he's got his audience. Good for him. Trevor Wallace, he just fucking bought these stupid Facebook ads. So people, because I, I found myself watching this shit. I was watching it because it kept coming up on my Facebook and I kept watching it. And I was like, this is the dumbest fucking shit I've ever seen. Why I'm am I buying Facebook ads? Why am I? Th- that's what we're going to do. Now. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to yeah, fuck this shit. We're going to start collecting or combining our, our money. Into we're going to go on ads. tour with Trevor Wallace next. <laughs> and hey, bro. We're never releasing this episode just so we can have a <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I don't care. I'm, yeah. I only said it. I, yeah, I don't know. I've, I don't think I've ever like come along with like that. Where it's like somebody I hate that. It <gasps> huh? Uh, no, I feel like if I say the name, I'm gonna get fucking. Is it a local guy? No, no, it's a it's hu- huge and famous. Huge and famous. I just dropped two names. Say it. Yeah, but <laughs> don't be a fucking pussy. Balls. Just say it. Well, it, mine is music music wise. Bo Burnham. What? No, no. Bo Burnham. Bo Burnham's super talented. I don't. I don't. I, I don't like. I'm not too much into musical comedy. Yeah, he's really he's great, but like I'm not I I won't watch like his special and stuff. I'm like he's amazing, but I'm not gonna watch it. Okay, don't change the subject. Who are you talking about here? Weird Al. All right, no, no, I want to like it's not music comedy. It's um fucking um. I'll probably agree with you if you name a musician that you don't like. So my okay, it my thing that pissed me off about her. It's Lizzo, right? Oh, okay. They yeah. they they gave her the soul like the award for like be, having the most soul and shit. And then all these black, like, soul. yeah, like, like black, right. like, uh, African American soul or some shit like that. No, I know. I was just thinking yeah. about her music, and I was thinking about soul, and I was yeah. kind of exactly. Yeah. And then, and then, uh, and all these black people are like fucking furious. They're like, "Why would you give it to this lady when like all her music panders to white white women?" Does it? Yeah, a lot. Of, well, that's what they were saying. And yeah. like, it all panders to white women. There's so many other like musicians you could have given it to. Where we like. Where it would have been right, but you give it to this one lady who panders to white people. I feel like you made this a racial issue. <laughs> I did. No, I didn't make it. It's not a racial. Well, it might, might, no, that, what pisses me off is like she, not even that, but like. Is that you don't think she's that good and doesn't have like she, soul. She's not, she shouldn't be getting what. Alexa, stop the timer. Are we going to finish where we started or are uh-huh. we, we going to finish this conversation or are we just. We let's gotta fin- finish let's, fi- let's finish it here. I don't want to bring this back. <laughs> All right. No. We'll end in audio if we have to. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we could do a third one. Basically. Let's just keep going. Let's right. just keep going. Okay. We got good momentum right now. We'll yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my thing. Up. Yeah. It just pisses me off when like people get the credit they don't deserve. Like Thomas Edison gets the credit for the light bulb. He doesn't deserve that shit. Who invented the light bulb? It was um Nikola Tesla. It was a student. I'm pretty sure. I don't think he was a student. No, not not his student, but he was he was working with him, his partner or some shit. But Nikola Tesla, he invented a lot of shit, but the light bulb. Someone else invented the light bulb. I'm fucking. I, I it's been a while since I researched. We should have had the computer. We should have had the computer. <laughs> Alexa, who invented the light bulb? Fuck, she's gonna say Thomas Edison. <laughs> Here's what I found on reference.com. Put the mic Thomas on it. Thomas Alva Edison is often credited with inventing ah, wait. the light bulb, but several other inventors created their own versions before Edison introduced his to the market. Okay. Edison gets the credit because his light bulb was the first practical bulb that also had an electrical yeah. system to power it. No, but he stole that system from somebody else. Fuck I just, you, uh, He stole that system from somebody else, but I fucking I forgot who. He was he was a good he was just a good businessman. He wasn't a genius inventor. Yeah, I mean a lot of histories like that, and even a lot of like I don't know. That's my problem with music is that it's just now these like. You just pay for your fucking spot, and then you got your spot. You got your money. That's it. You're not good. You're not bringing anything to help the industry. But, I mean, mu- most of the industry just fucks over so many musicians. That is, is hard. Well, then that's true with just showbiz. I mean. Yeah. Like, we're, yeah. Like George Carlin. That's, yeah, that's fucking insane. Yeah. So. All right. Wrapping it up. Now that we've branted. Let's, <laughs> yeah, let's uh, fuck it. All right, you ready? All right. Um, thanks for tuning in to the Drunken Jesters podcast. 
Come we, back. Come back next time for some sexy content. Come back tipsy to hear me rant about Trevor Wallace. Me and me and Sean are gonna go against each other in chess on the next episode. We're not doing yeah, that. Yeah, I could put it up on the TV. We're gonna do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right. See Thank ya. you all. Bye. Bitch ass motherfuckers. I hate everybody listening. <laughs>